Hello out there, folks. It's Dave here from Dave Station VR. And uh, I'm here to check out Roller Coaster Legends 2, Thor's Hammer. So I played the first Roller Coaster Legends when it came out, and it's a little bit underwhelming. You just kind of sit in a roller coaster, stuff happens for about eight minutes, and then you can restart it. This one already seems to be off to a better start, because even though it's still cheap, uh, and I assume it's just one roller coaster track, you got a challenge mode, you got some comfort options, and uh, so that's at least something here. So I'm curious about the challenge mode. I guess you got to play through once on experience. So let's give it a shot. Now I love a good roller coaster, and if the challenge mode is fun with the uh, little shoot 'em up part, that could add a lot to this game. Because uh, the first one didn't have much game to it; it was really just kind of an experience. Now I don't understand this track. Oh, hey, look, we're racing. Are we racing? He's kicking my ass. Hey, Kevin, haven't seen you in a while, man. How's it going? Oh, whoa, whoa, hey, whoa, hey, that was quite a little dip. Oh, I should have put a fan on myself. Always a must for a roller coaster game. Okay, okay. This is looking pretty good so far. Quick turns, I'm liking it. I have all the comfort settings turned off, so there are blinders that you can turn on, but got the full experience. That's not too disorienting. It, it moves faster than a real roller coaster would, I think, so that's a little bit of a, you know, it's a little unrealistic. Obviously, it's, it's a little unrealistic. I mean, look at this shit, but... All right, everyone wants to kill me on this roller coaster. Hopefully I can fire back at them in challenge mode. Oh yeah, it's much better than the Las Vegas coaster. Uh, I believe it is just one coaster like the first game where it takes you through separate areas and stuff. Um, and it's like eight minutes long or so. Wow, the sense of speed seems to be way more in this one. I don't remember going this fast the first time around. It's given me a few of the good uh, roller coaster drops, but, um, you know, obviously, it doesn't exactly feel like being on a real roller coaster. It's actually $5.99, but still pretty cheap. Shit! That was weird. <laughs> That's fine, though. Alright. Back to these guys. Just taking pot shots at me. I love a good waterfall. Oh, here we go. Right through it. Yep. That was nice. I wish someone could have splashed water on my face right there. I need an assistant for this game, for the 4D experience. Doesn't seem like you can, although maybe in challenge mode. I'll give that a shot after this first run here. Right, mystical floating stuff. Yeah, something about the the way the pacing goes on this roller coaster doesn't feel totally right. Oh shit! Although I like the drops every now and then, those are pretty satisfying. But yeah, it speeds up and slows down and turns in a way that I feel like a real roller coaster wouldn't. <laughs> hey Stefan, gamer tag, how's it going? Oh, okay. This is sufficiently uh, creepy or silly. I don't know which. I guess silly. Reminds me of Mars Attacks for some reason. That's big bulging eyeballs. Oh shit! 
All right, so I think the track is definitely more interesting and the graphics are a lot better than the first one. Um, in the first one, I, it just seemed like they threw a bunch of Unity assets together um, and kind of slapped together a game. And maybe after that they had a budget to actually design their own shit, because this looks graphically a lot better than the first one, I think. I wish one of these games would give us a loop. Why don't they do corkscrews? Can they not? Is that like a Sony comfort thing? Like you're not allowed to flip upside down? Because drops are great, but I love a good corkscrew. Oh, I should have looked up that guy's uh, kilt. I don't know what's up with this dude in front of me. He seems to be antagonizing me, but he's always one step ahead. Oh, hey. Fairly cool little ending. I just got toasted by a dragon. Roller Coaster Legends 2, Thor's Hammer. Alright, let's get into challenge mode. I'm ready. Oh no, I'm not sitting through credits. I see those credits coming. Mm-mm, sorry. Well, maybe it's not long. Okay. Uh-oh. I think I hit the restart button. I hope it saved my progress and I can do uh, challenge mode. Because if I just skipped the part I needed to wait through and restart it, that would not be good. Mm, I guess we'll find out. Hey, Ryan. Not too bad. Just uh, taking my lunch break to check out this new roller coaster game. Collect all the relics. Okay, I'm down. This is when the real game begins. So I've got my move controllers here. Got these little laser beams. Do they have a meter on them? Oh, they have a meter on them. Okay. Collect all the relics. What does a relic look like? Any Anybody got an idea what I'm looking for? Ah, that looks like one. Yeah, I guess I can't shoot at this guy. I thought it'd be more like a, a rush of blood or like coaster combat thing. It looks like you've got these zappers and you're just trying to find stuff in the course to grab which is, so far, very easy to grab. It's still a little gamier than the first one. I wish I could shoot this guy. Ah, so I guess this is one way to add replay value. The move tracking feels fine, that's one thing. I wish I could just, like, shoot at these guys, though. That's what I was looking for. Bam. Bam. There's relics everywhere in this place. Uh-oh. No, I need that one. I need that one. Good son of a bitch. I missed one. Okay. This is actually kind of fun. Trying to keep an eye out for him and catch them all. I don't have a problem with this. I feel like this should just be the game. They shouldn't make you play through it once just sitting there not doing anything. Some of the drops are really exhilarating, although I feel like this game overuses the, uh, oh, you're flying off the rails and it's going to be a big drop. Oh, that they do that like constantly. Um, and after like the sixth time, you're like, OK, I get it. I get it. I know what's happening here. Mm. 
no aim support yet, but it supports the move, so it's a start. Just uh, bug the developer, so you need aim support. I'm sure they'll land it. Actually didn't look too bad. Like I said, this one, in terms of graphical quality, is a step up for sure from the first one, which seemed like just a mobile Gear VR game or something. Ah, shit! No, I ran out of ah, I ran out of bars. Oh, ow. okay. Yeah, this mode is way better. This should be the default. And in Roller Coaster Legends 3, I want to see way more of this stuff. Like, let me shoot this guy. Make that do something. So I'm going to waste my meter doing it anyways. I love those creepy heads on a stick, dudes. They're so cool. Okay. My first encounter with the dragon. Oh, yeah. No, people on dueling tracks? Yeah, like this guy that keeps going around. If that was somebody else and we were shooting at each other, mm-hmm. You need to patent that idea. Because I would play that shit. Grim Cat. Five relics, baby. I wonder how many there are. Oh, oh, oh. Keep your eyes peeled. Here, big fella. Oh, shit, I didn't get that one. Oh, I see you hiding back there. Uh, uh. Oh, I missed my chance. Damn it. Chat lag. Oh, there's 50 to find. Well, I've only got 10 left. But yeah, for $5.99, it's, it's not bad. If you're into roller coasters and, uh, you know, at all enjoyed the first one or don't mind spending $5.99 for a little experience that has a game on top. Pretty simple game, but... Bails at the last second, right before the dragon burns everything up. I feel like he should have protected me. Okay, 42 out of 50. Not too bad for my first run, right? These credits take a while to get started. I feel like I have to get them going. Get going. All right, guys. Well, uh, I think twice is enough for one stream. <laughs> I don't know if I'll get those last eight. Uh, and one more run or not. Canine officer. Oh, they had a dog in the office? Okay. Well, guys, I liked that a lot better than the first Roller Coaster Legends. Uh, it's still cheap. Oh, it's suggesting the first one. I don't know if people would want to go from the second to the first. Yeah, you're probably right, Kev, honestly, but, you know, it's cheap. If this seems like something you'd be into, I'd say give it a shot. I'm not pissed that I spent money on it, so... Uh, like I said, it's a big step up from the first one. The move support on the little mini game, the challenge mode, is uh, pretty solid. And uh, it adds a little bit of something to it. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And I will catch y'all later. Have a good rest of your day.